ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? My name is Billify, and today I will be going over every single glove and their counters. Now, I'm assuming that this is going to be a pretty long video, so make sure if you want to skip to a specific glove, look at the bottom line of the video, or open the description up and click on the glove you're trying to look at, because I'm going to do every single glove in the game. Starting off with default. Basically, every glove in the game is going to counter default. <laughs> Any one shots will easily counter default. Same thing with Diamond, diamond, if someone's in their ability, you could swap them and put them in a position of power for you. So swapper's really good against diamond. The Z glove, this has every glove in the game counters, the Z glove. <laughs> extended. It's a pretty fun glove. Now, if somebody is really good with extended, how can you actually beat them? If you know how to use flash, flash could absolutely counter extended. Ghost absolutely counters extended because they can't see you coming. The hando counters extended because you can pull them closer to you and you're immediately next to the person and they can't slap you because their hand is extended. <laughs> Mag it because you can get close to them. Pusher is an amazing ability that can push back an extended user. Dream is one of the best because you can zoom on past their slap. This is really good. Reverse counters like almost every glove in the game. Shikuchi will get almost every glove in the game. Woe can do it, but I wouldn't even try to test how close you can get to an extended user with Woe. Phantom is a great counter for extended. Track and table flip are both great counters for extended. Same thing with shield and all three of these gloves right here. God's hand, if you have your ability, absolutely a counter. The flex, if you're having trouble catching them with a regular glove, you're going to have trouble catching them with flex. Same thing with overkill. If you're having trouble catching them with a regular glove, you're going to have trouble with overkill. Ultra instinct, you could have a little bit better of a uh, chance to try to get them because you could teleport behind them. Acrobat can definitely be a counter if you combat roll right into them. Hello Jack can be a counter if you hit them with your actual pumpkin and get close enough to them so when they stand up you can smack them. Bus can be a counter. Phase is absolutely a counter. Bomb is a counter. Bubble is a counter. Jet is a counter. Shard is a counter. Bob is a counter to like every glove in the game. Slapple somewhat. Battle Bones and Larry can actually go after an extended user pretty well. Charge is an excellent counter against extended users. Tycoon if you have an upgraded Tycoon you have speed which could be a great counter against extended because it will bring them up and then once they come back down you'll have time to be absolutely close to them so that you can hit them. Snowball can be a good counter if you place it down and they get slowed. Then you know that you can actually catch them if you dodge their first attack. But that is all the counters to the extended glove and if you have yourself a pro extended user. <laughs> Next up we have the brick. Basically any one shot glove in the game basically can erase a brick user. This is just a what I would classify as a normal glove. Same thing with snow. Any one shot glove is gonna decimate this glove. Even an overkill but if you're using overkill against a snow you actually have to make sure that you hit the snow first or it will actually call you out and you will become a target to a lot of people. The pole glove, same thing, any one shot glove. And when I say one shot, I mean like table flip, God's hand, air, the flex, things of that nature. When I say a normal glove, that means basically any glove can hit this glove and be okay. The flash, any glove, this is something where you hear their ability popping and it's not like they're gonna have the greatest of advantage against you while using this glove. Spring, you might have a user who is doing a lot of jumping and using their desync against you. How can you counter that? Of course, you could go ghost and wait for them. You could use stun magnet. Pusher also works against spring. If you have thick, big enough, you should be able to counter spring, no problem. If you use golden's ability, you should be able to counter both shikuchi and reverse. Will make a uh, spring's day a little bit harder. The woe is a great counter against a spring user. I guess engineer in a way. If they're targeting you. You could place down some of your engineer traps. Phantom can somewhat be a counter. Stop can be a great counter to it. Track an excellent counter. Shield is a great counter. God's hand, of course. The flex, of course. Overkill's a fantastic counter against a spring user. Custom is a great counter. Ultra Instinct's a great counter. Mega Rock, same thing as Custom. Bus, if you use it correctly, can be a counter against them. Bomb is a great counter against a spring user if you use it correctly. Jet can be a counter. Bob is a counter. Detonator can be a counter. Just sell out for the trade hit. Trap can be a counter. If they're chasing you, just place a trap and then lock them to the ground instead of having them jump away. Flapple's ability will be great against the spring. Rattlebones and Larry will counter. Charge is an excellent counter. Glitch is a good counter to spring. And those are all the gloves that I believe that you could use against a spring user who is battling you with their desync. <laughs> <laughs> the next glove is Swapper. Any one-shot glove will absolutely destroy a Swapper. Anybody who uses Swapper is usually there to troll with Swapper and try to get you to walk off the edge. But if you have somebody who's actually using Swapper correctly, basically any glove that you're good with will work against a Swapper. Because this is just a regular glove, basically. Bull. <laughs> Everything counters Bull. Bull is a skill shot glove. You have to be able to land the shot to be able to pull someone off the edge. Dice. This is a regular glove. Any one-shot glove will counter. Every glove in the game will basically counter this. You just gotta hope that you don't have the 100 hit power hit you. Ghost. Now, Ghost is a glove that has a lot less counters. So what are the counters to a ghost? Well, first of all, another ghost user. If you see a ghost user and they're targeting you, 
become ghosts. Best counter that you can use against a ghost is another ghost. Magnet can be a good counter against ghosts. Replica can be a counter. Shikuchi, on the other hand, is a good counter against ghosts, but you have to make sure that you're not near anybody else. Engineer can be a good counter against ghosts. Just place down engineer traps and try to run around in the little circle that you can. Track can be a good counter. One glove I did skip over is the mail glove. If you actually use mail, you will be able to see a little blue icon pop up above their character, which you can be able to track them down and try to hit them. Now, I mean, of course I would add, like, block and like plague and things of that nature that show and detect the position of ghosts but those are skill shots. I'm trying to get it to where if these are if you're being bullied and you need an absolute counter to use against these people. The shield glove. I'm actually not sure about this one. What I was thinking with the shield glove is that once the ghost user slaps you they become visible again but you lose your shield but you're not slapped. That's the only thing I was thinking with shield and how that could be a good counter. Ultra instinct can be great against a ghost because you have a 50% chance to dodge their attack and once they go to slap you guess what? You're back in it and now you can slap them back. Mega rock and Custom both can be decent against a ghost. Hollow Jack's one of those things where if you can land the skill shot, you can see where they are, but again, not very viable if you're being bullied. Bus could work, but you have to really be good at landing a skill shot and baiting out a ghost. Jet is an excellent counter against a ghost user. Bob is a fantastic counter. Detonator is one of those things if you can land the skill shot, which if you have detonator, I'm pretty sure you can land the skill shot. You can see where they are because you have a little, little indicator. Orbit can somewhat be a counter if you have all your hands spinning around. Slapple can be a counter. All you have to do is just use your ability and stay up in your tree. Battle Bones with Larry chasing you is a fantastic counter against a ghost user. Snowball can be a pretty good counter because it will shoot pretty fast at wherever this position is. And the way that desync works is that the snowball will hit the character if they're running on your screen, but on their screen it won't. So it will show their position, so snowball can be a fantastic counter. Elude can be a, a decent counter against a ghost user, but once they hit you, you have like a very good chance of dying because you're either going to spawn at Malai or you're going to spawn on a cube, or you're going to spawn on an island where you're going to have to run back, but by the time you run back to the the main arena where the ghost is, they're going to have their ability again, and it's just going to be a rinse and repeat process of just nothingness. Fish can pretty much counter a ghost user as soon as they slap you, just flop back over and slap them. But those are the gloves that I think could counter ghosts the best. The next glove, Thanos, this is like a normal glove. This is a glove you don't really have to worry about. Any one-shot glove, any glove that, that you are very familiar with and know how to use very well can work against Thanos, and you will have no issue against them. The next glove is Stun. This is a pretty useful glove to use because of the EMP ability. Gloves that do counter this would be another stun user, a ghost, a pusher if used correctly, male if used correctly, if you're using Golden's ability, reverse can be good against, Shikuchi can be good against, Woe could be good, Locked can be good against, Phantom can somewhat be good against, Track is a fantastic counter, Table Flip is a fantastic counter, Shield is a fantastic counter, God's Hand of course, one shot, The Flex of course, a one shot, Overkill, of course, a one-shot. Custom, of course, it's a rock. You're not getting inside a rock. Ultra Instinct, your Ultra Instinct will still pop. Mega Rock, it's a rock. You're not hitting a rock. Bus, if used correctly, absolutely. If you throw bombs correctly, bombs could be a great counter. Same thing with Bubble. Those two are both skill shots. Jet could be a great counter. Bob is a fantastic counter. Rattlebones and Larry can be a fantastic counter. Charge can be somewhat of a good counter. You're gonna have to really rely on desync on this one. They stun you while you're using your charge. I believe it stops you. I could be wrong on that. I could definitely be wrong on that. Let me know in the comments below. Glitch can sort of be a counter. I wouldn't go to use this against it, but I think it could be. Fish is a counter. Those are the counters that I believe are great for stun glove. Now Zahando. Now a lot of people freak out against a Zahando user. I think the reason why is because if there's a Mega Rock and you see a Zahando, PTSD kicks in because they, they don't like being yoinked out of nowhere right into a rock right into their death. So I think a lot of people don't like Zahando for that specific reason, but that's okay. If you have a Zahando, here's how you counter it. Ghost glove. Go and slap a Zahando no matter where they are and they won't be able to see him. Stun glove can somewhat do something. Magnet can work. Thick can work if you have a glove is powered up. Golden's ability power up will work. Reverse is a fantastic counter to as a hando. Same thing with Shikuchi. Woe is a fantastic counter against as a hando. Block can be good, but you have to make sure you land the shot. Engineer somewhat. Stop can be okay against as a hando. Track can be great against as a hando. Table flip can be great. Shield can be fantastic. God's hand. One shot as a hando. Same thing with the flex. And same thing with overkill. It's one shot. It's going to absolutely annihilate them. Custom. Fantastic to use as soon as they as a hando you over. Pop your ability. You're a rock. Mega rock. Same thing as custom. Ultra instinct is great against as a hando. Base can be pretty good. Jet can be a great counter against the Zahando. You could even say Shard could be a great counter against Zahando because every Zahando user is most likely going to be near an edge. Bob, of course. Orbit is a great counter against the Zahando. Slapple somewhat if you know how to pop your ability fast enough. Rattlebones and Larry, great counter. Charge, great counter. Glitch can be a good counter. If you get pulled over, just pop your glitch ability. Elude somewhat. Fish Glove is a great counter. As soon as you get slapped off, fling yourself back over. And those are the gloves that I think are great to counter a Zahando user. Next thing, Fort. This is more of like a fun glove. This is not a glove that people are going to use seriously. So every glove in the game is basically going to counter for Magnet. It'd be a very fun glove to use. It can trigger a lot of people, but that's okay. We're going to figure out how we can counter it. Starting off with Ghost. Stun is more of a skill shot with a Magnet user. Another Magnet 
against a magnet user could work. Pusher could work if you have Golden's power-up ability popped. It's a counter to, like, everything. Replica somewhat could be a counter. I would say reverse, but you'd have to have a skill shot. Shikuchi, you'd have to get them before they get you. It also involves the woe. You'd have to get them before they get you. And blocks, you have to get them before they get you. Engineer could be a great counter against a magnet. Rocky could actually be a pretty good counter against a magnet. As soon as you throw your rock and lock them into place, smack them. But they're definitely going to use their ability as soon as you slap them. So expect a second slap. Stop if you're good with the skill shot stop ability. Track is a fantastic counter against it. Table flip is a fantastic counter against it. Both stand the ability of hitting and having remagnet to somebody else before they fly off the edge. So keep that in mind before you use them. Shield is a fantastic counter against a magnet. God's hand and its ability, absolutely. The flex, pretty much, yep. Any one-shot glove will work against a magnet user. Just trade the hits. Same thing with overkill. Custom is a fantastic, I mean, probably the best counter that you could use against the magnet user because even if you're in a rock if the magnet user is closest to you when they pop their ability they get sucked into you it's like as a hando but going to the wrong place <laughs> so custom mega rock absolutely perfect ultra instinct can be great against a magnet user plus if you know how to time it correctly bob is in everything besides like one or two gloves orbit's a fantastic counter against the magnet user rattlebones and larry are a great counter charge can be a great counter fish can be a great counter against a magnet user and those are the gloves that i think have the best chance of countering a magnet user next up we have pusher there is basically basically a normal glove. The only thing that you have to be aware about is the giant wall. Now, if you're being targeted by this pusher user, it's okay. Their ability takes a long time to charge up. So here are some gloves that you could actually absolutely counter this glove with. Ghost, they can't push what they can't see. Swapper, just swap them into the, your position and have the upper hand against them. Dream is a fantastic counter. Shikuchi can be a good counter. Phantom can be a great escape from a pusher user. Track is a good counter against. Table flip is a good counter. Only God's hand. And that's only if you pop your ability. Other than that, like the one shots, you're going to have to make sure you hit them before they use their wall. Custom and Mega Rock, perfect. Absolutely perfect gloves to counter against a pusher. Acrobat can help you get out of a tough situation with a pusher. Phase might be the best glove against a pusher because even if you get pushed off the edge, hey, you have phase. Just go around. <laughs> Somewhat rage with their speed. Hybrid with their speed. Slapple, I don't know if you're able to hop over the wall on the initial jump, but maybe Slapple if you're able to hop over the wall. Dominant, sort of. If you pop your arena, you can use the speed boost to get out of a tricky situation, maybe. Charge is an absolutely fantastic counter. Tycoon, but upgraded to the max, basically, as soon as you have your max speed boost. Somewhat fish. And of course, you could use another pusher against a pusher, but there's no guaranteeing that you're gonna live, depending on your positioning. Those are the gloves that I feel like are the best against a pusher glove. Anchor, any one-shot glove, basically any glove in the game that you want to actually just bully somebody with that you're good with works against anchor same thing really with space it's just one of those gloves that it's a butterfly in the sky i can go twice as high take a look in a book reading rainbow book you know that's the glove <laughs> <laughs> Nothing too crazy with this glove. They can drop on you, but again, this is basically a regular glove. Use magnet, any one-shot glove, perfect for space. Boomerang, as long as you don't get hit by boomerang, any glove will be okay. Gloves I'd recommend would probably be extended if you know how to use it correctly. Any one-shot glove, even if you get hit, you're gonna one-shot them. Anything to create distance like whoa, stop time, table flip, track, things of that nature. This is just a glove with a passive, so you're just a regular old dude walking around. Now we come to dream. A lot of people get very annoyed with dream users, but I, I, I don't understand. These people are just basically basically grinding slaps. <laughs> They're not going to try to one-shot you. Yeah, you might get comboed, but hey, good on them. They're able to land the combo. Here's how you can counter them. Of course, Ghost, Stun can be a good counter. Zahando, somewhat. Magnet, if you have a Thick that's at max, you can avoid being slapped by Dream. Maybe not. Desync is a big play here. Reverse is a good option to keep you from getting slapped. Shikuchi is a fantastic option against a Dream user. Woe is a great option because you can keep them away from you. If you're getting comboed, you can push them back. Block can be a good counter against a Dream user. Engineer can be a good counter against a dream user. Stop can be a good counter if you know how to land stop. Table flip if you can land a table flip on a dream user. Track somewhat. Shield somewhat. Any one shot glove is going to absolutely decimate a dream user. So God's hand, the flex, air, overkill, all of them. Custom of course. Mega rock of course. Ultra instinct. You have 50% chance to dodge. This is one of the gloves that Bob is not recommended to use against a dream user because they can easily run over to the cube and kill Bob. Orbit can be a good counter against a dream user. Slapple can be a counter. As soon as you see them running at you, pop your tree ability. Hop up in the Charge can be a good counter against a dream user. Glitch can be a good counter. Fish, you're basically just going to flop back in if you're getting comboed. Those are my recommendations to keep you protected against a dream. The next glove is a mail glove. This glove is just a glove that sends out a message. So it's it's a normal glove. You just have to be weary and avoid the message. So basically any glove you're good with will counter a mail glove. Just make sure you hit the X and not the OK button. The next glove on our list is thick. How do you avoid a raid boss 
thick that has a full charge. Extended somewhat, but you stand a chance of getting hit because the glove is too big. Ghost, of course, can't hit what you can't see. Zahando, if you're fast enough. Magnet, if you're fast enough and they're near an edge. Pusher can be a great counter. Golden with the power-up ability can be a great counter. Reverse can be a great counter. Shikuchi can be a great counter. Woe can be a great counter. Engineer can be a good counter. Track can be a good counter. Table flip, shield, God's hand for the ability. I wouldn't recommend all one-shots unless you're good with decent battles. Ultra Instinct, if you're very good with it and can get a slap off after you dodge the first time, but not very viable. Customer Mega Rock can be useful against them because you can't get slapped if you use it correctly. Hollow Jack can be a good counter if you actually land your pumpkin and get close enough to them before they sit up. Bus can be a good counter if bait them correctly. Bomb, Bubble, and Jet are great counters. Bob is a fantastic counter. Rattlebones and Larry, fantastic counter. Charge can be a great counter. You just have to make sure you catch them by surprise because if they're looking directly at you, having a fully maxed out thick glove, they could definitely slap you before you slap them. Glitch can be a decent counter. And those are the gloves that I recommend to use against the thick glove. Now, how do you counter a golden? If they're using their ability, which is the power-up ability, nothing. The only thing I can really do anything against that is a pusher. I'm sure there's a glove or two that will do a little extra while their ability is popped, but Pusher is probably your best glove that you can use against a Golden while they have their ability popped. Other than that, Golden's just a regular glove. With no ability, this is just one of those gloves that's just walking around aimlessly. Any glove will work, except when they have their power-up ability. Then it's just, it just becomes a dodging game. Squid. How do you counter a squid? Any one-shot glove's perfect. This is just a glove that you have to avoid because it's a passive glove. Just don't get slapped by this glove and you'll be okay. Extended, Ghost, all of the gloves that can create distance, anything like that'll be perfect against a squid. It's just a normal glove that you don't want to get slapped by. Cheeky. If you need to counter a cheeky, you need help. <laughs> Cheeky's cheeky. The only time you have to be worried about a cheeky is it, it, when it's flying past you on the map. And even then, they're selling out for the death to try to hit you off. So dying to a cheeky's funny. There's nothing wrong with a cheeky. Don't worry about the cheeky. Reaper. Lots of people are tired of reapers and want to counter them. How do you counter a reaper? Well, if the reaper is not sped up, extended could be a great one. If you use swapper correctly, you can make them walk themselves off the map. Ghost is a fantastic counter to a a reaper. Stun is a great counter against a reaper. Zahando is a perfect counter against a reaper. Magnet is a good counter against a reaper. Make sure you use it when they're close to an edge. Pusher somewhat. Early stages, yes, but when it's sped up, they have a very good chance of avoiding your wall. Golden's power up, but even then, if it's a fully developed reaper, it's not like a viable option to use. Reverse can be good, but you have to make sure if it's a fully developed reaper and they slap you, they're definitely coming back for you because now you're linked. So you're going to become a target. You just got to make sure you survive. Shikuchi can be a good counter, but you have to make sure that you are one-shotting them basically if they're a fully developed reaper. Woe can be a good counter to push them away. Engineer is definitely a good deterrent against the reaper. Make sure the reaper doesn't come near you. Phantom, if you want to run away. Stop, if you can actually nail the timing of the stop. Track and table flip are both great for throwing things at the reaper to try to one-shot it off the edge. Shield can be good if, if you can sell out to try to get hit, but also hit them at the same time. Any one-shot is absolutely perfect against a reaper. God's hand, the flex, overkill, air, all of them fantastic against a reaper. Custom and mega rock are great against a reaper. Ultra instinct sort of. Us somewhat somewhat bust mostly if the reaper isn't fully developed you could use jet to hit a reaper but if it's a reaper that's constantly running around which most of the time they are it's not going to be as effective bob if it's a fully developed reaper not really a viable option because they can get over to the cube fast enough but if you're working together with people because this reaper is an absolute menace this will force a reaper to a certain position to where you guys could set up to attack this reaper orbit can be somewhat of a decent deterrent slapple's ability is a decent deterrent Battlebones and Larry is a good deterrent. Charge is a fantastic counter. Glitch is a good counter. And those are the gloves that I would recommend to use against a Reaper. Next up on the list, we have Replica. So Replica, you're getting targeted, and what do you do about this glove? Any one-shot gloves absolutely decimate a Replica. Air, the Flex, God's Hand, Overkill all work great against replica and its little decoy that it sends out but you're most likely going to get slapped you could also use extended that also works as well golden's ability power up ability that works reverse works this is just a normal glove it's just another character that's running at you that will most likely end up slapping you defense now how do you counter a defense if you have somebody who is laughing at you pops the defense and continues to use the laugh button emoji on you what do you do against them they're annoying you what do you do well they're not as safe as they think they are you could grab an extended and slap them while they're in there you could use ghost but most of the time they're going to be able to pop their ability before you can slap them maybe once it's down very tiny at the very last second you could be able to slap them with ghost 
but not the best option. I'm pretty sure you can Zahando them out of their safety net. You could always push them out. Fully maxed out Thick Glove. Once the defense is down lower, we'll slap them out of it. Replica is a fantastic counter to a defense because, of course, the Replica can walk through a defense. If you didn't know that, Replicas will walk through a defense, which is funny. Absolutely funny to see. Duelist, you could <laughs> you, you could drag them into a Duelist Arena, but again, they're probably going to pop defense while they're in there, so I really wouldn't like recommend it. Whoa, you could push them out. Engineer, you could troll them. You could set little engineer traps for them. That could be a pretty good counter against the defense user. God's Hand could work if you popped your ability at the right time. Any other one-shots, they could pretty much avoid if they know how to step correctly. Custom and Mega Rock, you probably won't be able to get the kill, but you'll be able to push them back more than they'd be able to push you. Hollow Jack could work if you hit the pumpkin correctly, which when the defense is getting lower, yep, definitely a better spot to try. Plus is an excellent option because the defense is not stopping Fortnite bus. Absolutely not. Bomb, Bubble, Jet, and Shard all work against defense. Bob works against defense. You could go as far as to have your orbit hands go near defense. Slapple's ability works against them. Glitch is great against the defense user. Moai, Maui, however you say it. Great. Pretty much a good troll against the defense user. Not not the best, but it will troll them. But those are the gloves that I recommend to use against a defense user who is uh, being pretty obnoxious. The next thing we have is a kill streak. Oh boy, oh boy. The glove that gets targeted by everybody once it gets to a higher stage. <laughs> <laughs> Lower stage, this is a regular glove. Any glove you use against it will be perfect. Once it gets to the higher stages, though, how do you counter something that's fast and powerful? Let me show you. If you see that they are running at you, Swapper could work. Ghost, you can hide from being slapped, and if they run towards an edge that you're near, you could somewhat try to slap them off. Zahando is a fantastic counter. Reverse is a major counter to a kill streak that is higher. So if they slap you while you pop their ability, Bye bye. Shikuchi if they're near the edge. Whoa if they're near the edge. Table flip could be, but skill shot. Any one shot glove will be great if you sell out and correctly desync hit them. If you can't hit them while they're running up, might not be a good option for you, but can't pop God's Hand's ability because if they're at a high enough kill level, they will not be subjected to the time stop. Custom and Mega Rock, they probably won't end up dying, but if you use a custom or Mega Rock and you have somebody use a Hando, probably the best counter you could ever use against a kill streak. Bus, very low chance of hitting, but if you do hit, you stand a good chance of killing them. Slapple will keep you out of harm's way. Rattlebones and Larry, you could create a Larry that goes after this goober. And if they do slap you, it might be signing their own death wish. Charge could also work. And those are the counters that I believe are great for kill streaks that are on a higher tier. All right, now to reverse. How do you counter a reverse player? They're very good at it and they're being very annoying. How do I counter them? First of all, if you grab another reverse and you walk into them, you have the best effect in the game that I love. <laughs> Both reverses get sent to the Shadow Realm. And a fantastic fashion. You could swap them off the edge. Ghost is a great option against a reverse user. Magnet can be good against a reverse user. Pusher could work if you uh, push them off the edge correctly. What was a great counter to a reverse because they cannot reverse a woe ability. Engineer could be great. I don't believe that they can counter a engineer slap. I'm not sure if reverse has the ability to stop the explosion from track, but I know it has the ability to stop table flips, so I'm not entirely sure on track. Be weary if you use it. Let me know in the comments if you've tried it or not. The air glove is the best option you can use against a reverse user because you cannot reverse the error. You are dead. D E D dead. <laughs> Custom and Mega Rock are great. Bus is great. Bomb is great. Jet is great. Can't reverse a jet. Bob is great. Can't reverse a bob. Rattlebones and Larry. Perfect counter. The glitch ability. Perfect counter. And those are the gloves I think are the best for reverse. Now Shikuchi. How do you counter a Shikuchi? This is an interesting glove because every single glove that you use can be hit by Shikuchi except maybe Ultra Instinct. That has the chance to dodge it. Other than that, the sole best counter for a Shikuchi is of course reverse. Because as soon as they grab you, you have plenty of time to pop your ability. And then as soon as they go to slap you, they get slapped. So reverse, 100%, easily the best counter that you could use against a Shikuchi. Other than that, you're gonna just wanna use like either table flip or track or any one shot glove against Shikuchi if you can hunt them down. Time stop with God's hand, something like that. Cause after the ability, this is just a regular glove. Duelist, regular glove, just throws you into an arena. Now on to Woe, how do you counter a Woe user? Ghost could work if they don't know you're there. Magnet can be a counter to Woe if they use the Woe against you. Just use the magnet and go right back to them. Pusher if you get them in the correct area. Shikuchi somewhat, you know, somewhat. What? Using woe against the woe obviously works. You just have to be better. Table flip and track are good counters. The only one shot glove that's pretty much viable against a woe user is God's Hand because of this stop time ability. Custom and Mega Rock can't get slapped, so good counter. Just make sure you're in your rock and not near an edge while you have a woe user near you. Bus, if you could bait it correctly. Bomb, Bubble, and Jet are great counters to a woe user. Bob, fantastic counter. Slapple can actually be a good counter against a woe user if you can actually use it correctly. Keep in mind, though, that if you are trying to use a Slapple ability, a woe user can actually run up to you, jump and woe you out of your tree. So don't use it as a counter, use it as an offensive ability against a woe. Rattlebones and Larry can be a, a, a decent counter. The 
Woe is not going to slap you, so you're not going to have an enraged Larry, but they're still going to have a Larry chasing them. Charge is a fantastic counter against the Woe. As soon as they pop their Woe ability and send you back, charge right back to them. Fish can somewhat be a good counter against the Woe. Once they pop their ability, flop right back over to them. And those are my counters for Woe. On to Ice, this is a glove that's just a normal glove. It's a passive ability, so all you have to do is just make sure you don't get slapped by a normal glove. Any one-shots work, any of your gloves that you can use against it will work. It's just a normal glove, just don't get slapped by it. Same thing with Adios. Adios is just, it's a meme glove. That's what it is. It's a meme glove. Every glove counters it. It's just a meme. <laughs> <laughs> you could hit it off and it will survive, but you're not in danger against it. And if you're having trouble against an Adios, well, ooh, yeesh. <laughs> so how do you counter block, you might ask? Well, first things first, don't get hit. Do not get hit by block. <laughs> but if you do and you're being targeted, how do you counter against it? Well, here's how. The Jet Glove. Yes, the Jet Glove is going to be your absolute best friend when you have someone who is blocked. Or if you are blocked by someone using that glove. That was the best counter. Now, some other counters you could use is Swapper if you're running towards an edge, which most likely they're going to be chasing you because they are using Blocked and they know that you're a free slap. Pusher, you could push them if you get them in the correct spot, which again, you're going to be chased, so could be a viable option. I think you could reverse the first hit. I don't know if you're able to reverse after the first hit. Woe to push them back. Track and Table Flip, I believe, before before. I'm not sure after I believe they block that all one shots have to be before custom and mega rock to just not get slapped <laughs> Bus if you could time it out correctly bomb if you throw it correctly. Not sure if Bubble works or not. I believe Bubble might be blocked. I could be wrong. Bob, a fantastic counter. Slapple could be good. You could push them back with your tree. They won't want to target you after. Rattlebones and Larry, I believe, counter it. Glitch, I believe, will counter. I could definitely be wrong on this one. But those are the gloves that I would use against blocked. How would you counter Engineer? First things first, Extended is a fantastic option against an Engineer. You don't have to get close, and I believe you could reach them with the Extended Arm. Ghost, semi, sort of. Stun is a fantastic option because it stuns the engineer turrets that it brings up so it will shut them down and give you enough time to run in there and go after them perfect glove for the counter zahando could work pull them away from their engineer magnet possibly pusher great counter space could work jump over the hands and land on top of them and hit them golden's power up ability i believe should be able to power through a slap from an engineer shikuchi will hit them wherever they are standing but you could end up getting hit after but you will be able to hit them the woe glove will push them away from their sentries track and table flipper perfect counter shield could be a good counter if you only get hit once but you stand the chance of getting hit multiple times baller can be interesting i wouldn't say it's a direct counter god's hand can be interesting i believe the hands still spin while the ability of time stop is still active so not the greatest of counters god's hand the flex and overkill aren't really and air aren't really super viable options against an engineer ultra instinct could be decent custom and mega rock you can't get slapped so could be worth it bus is a fantastic counter to an engineer because they're in one spot all the time phase you could get through to the middle of an engineer but they're gonna see you coming and they're gonna be able to it dodge so not the best but will work bomb is a fantastic bubble is fantastic jet is a fantastic shark could be fantastic if they're not jumping bob is fantastic slapple will push them out with their ability rattlebones and larry will push them out charge is great glitch is great you control with my you could always build an obby over to them but those are my counters for engineer i'm moving over to rocky how do you counter rocky basically every glove in the game counters rocky the only thing you have to do is just not get hit by the rockifying roller any one shots are going to be perfect for this glove this is just it's a glove that once the the ability is popped it's just a normal glove same thing with conveyor this is a passive any one shot glove will be perfect against this extended would be good all of the gloves that you're good with that you know how to use against the conveyor just don't get slapped by this glove this really doesn't need an explanation phantom how would you counter phantom i know some people find phantom annoying ghost is the first option you would think of stun might work if you know that they're heading towards you magnet could be a counter reverse could work if you have a fast ability button same thing with shikuchi same thing with whoa block you to have to hit them first using phantom to fight phantom could also work stop if you time it correctly tracking table flipper good counter shield is great because as soon as they reappear you should be able to slap them god's hand for the time stop ability any one shot glove could work against a phantom if you're swinging while they appear custom and mega rock as soon as you see them phantom dash just pop your rock ability ultra instinct is great because if they slap you 50 percent chance to dodge bus just call the bus in phase could work if you see them phantom dash towards you just pop your phase bomb and bubble could work but it's a skill shot on a phantom so i wouldn't recommend it jet could work Bob is fantastic, but they're going to be able to outrun Bob pretty easily. Orbit could be decent if you have all of the gloves spinning around you. Slapple is good if you see them phantom dash towards you. Pop your Slapple, hide up in the tree. Rattlebones and Larry is a fantastic
fantastic counter. Charge is a fantastic counter. Glitch is a fantastic counter. Fish is a fantastic counter. If they hit you, flop right back into them. Those are my recommendations for Phantom. Next, we have Wormhole. If you're getting bullied by a Wormhole user, I'm sorry, I can't help you. It's a Wormhole user. It's a glove that has portals. <laughs> you should not be getting bullied. Now, if you're being bullied by a Time Stop user, or a Stop user, I should just say, using Hammer Time, this is how you can counter them. Extended in the right scenarios could work. Not the most viable, though. Ghost is great. They can't see you coming. Stun works. If they stop time on you, pop your stun ability. Golden's ability using the power up could work but it's not the most viable. Reverse is a fantastic counter against this, as well as Shikuchi, but Reverse is a lot better than Shikuchi. Woe is a good counter for this. Table Flip and Track are good counters against a stop user. Shield is great, but not guaranteed. They could get two slaps on you before you are brought back into the moving world. Any one-shot glove could be a counter, but most likely won't work. The only one that could be viable would be God's Hand with a stop time ability. Ultra Instinct might be best because of the dodge ability. Bus could be good because once they time stop you, you know they're coming right directly for you, and they're close enough that once the gets there if they've slapped you they're getting hit as well jet could counter them just make sure you run away bob is fantastic rattle bones and larry absolutely perfect charge great fish could be great to flop back into them and those are the best counters that i could say for stop moving on to track how do you counter track unique thing with track is once they use their ability they don't have a hand to slap you with so these people are mostly going to be from distance trying to hit you but if you are pressuring them that's your best opportunity is to pressure them zahando could be a good counter against them pull them closer to you even if they pop their glove you could just keep slapping them off they might get hit with the explosion as well magnet in a sense i'm not sure if the power up ability with golden stops an explosion from giving you knockback i'm also not sure if defense stops a track or not I'm also not sure if the reverse stops the explosion i don't believe it does i could be wrong shikuchi it would work but it's not like viable because you're still probably gonna get hit with the explosion whoa you'd have to get close to them but could work i'm not sure if block blocks out the explosion phantom dash could be very good to get close to them while they don't have a glove so this could be a good counter using a track against a track of course going to be a great counter table flip could be a great counter you're probably going to get exploded but the odds of you hitting them with a table flip after they use track is pretty high i don't think shield protects you from an explosion god's hand could work it's a great ability to stop time so you could just if they use the track ability on you just run over to them and slap them. all the other one shots would one shot the person but you'd have to be close to them custom and mega rock are great counters for a track because if they throw the glove at you all you have to do is pop your ability and wait for that thing to explode before you go out of it i wouldn't suggest using diamond same thing will happen with diamond but you give yourself a slowness effect not worth it mega rock custom definitely to go for bus if you're close enough could phase could work you throw jet on them bomb and bubble if they're close enough but not very not very viable bob if you're close enough always a great counter for everything charge is a great counter you just run over to them charge them fish is a great counter you get hit and exploded just fly back into the arena this is one of my favorite gloves to use against a track and those are the gloves that i believe are the best to counter a track you come up to a table flip how do you counter a table flip they're so annoying and they're always throwing tables at me you could always use ghost on a table flip they won't see you coming you could always hand a table flip and hit, hit them off you could always use a pusher wall before they throw a table at you but not viable you could use space to jump up in the air and then drop on them that's a good option you could use dream and try to outspeed the table throw but granted there will be people who will easily hit that and hit a dream so keep that in mind golden's power up ability you'll be able to not have knockback from a table defense is great you can uh, actually pop a defense and stop a table flip from hitting you reverse is a fantastic option to counter against a table flip they take the knockback which is perfect phantom dash you could try to phantom dash out and get closer to them which could be work it could viably work but i really wouldn't consider it to be too viable you could always throw your glove with a track at the table flip that always works but you're just gonna have to make sure you run away and don't get hit by a table table flip v table flip always works using the stop time ability with god's hand works against a table flip all other one shots i mean will one shot the table flip of course but you have to get close to table flip and i wouldn't recommend that custom and mega rock work to not get hit but you have to wait for them to use their ability if they're targeting you Acrobat you could possibly roll away but slim odds bus you could definitely bust them off but it's gonna be hard phase you could definitely use to get close to a table flip jet is pretty good against a table a table flip bob is fantastic against a table flip slapple is great against a table flip just hide in the tree rattle bones and larry is a great option to try to go after a table flip charge is a, probably the best counter you can use against a table flip fish is an amazing counter against a table flip once they hit the fish just flop back in and those are the counters i see for a table flip next is shield what counters a shield you could definitely swap or a shield off the edge correctly ghost you can take away the shield but I'm not guaranteeing you're going to be able to get the second hit off. Stun could be pretty decent. You could stun them and take away the shield and get a second hit, maybe. Magnet might be good because if you sell out for that first hit and get the shield down, you might get hit, but you can pop your magnet ability and get right back to their face and slap them. Pusher, you can push them off, of course. Replica is great against a shield user because your replica clone will go after them and will take away their shield, which will give you the option and the ability to try to get in there and get the slap before they get their shield back. Reverse is a fantastic...
fantastic counter. It's probably the best counter you can have against this. Shikuchi is a pretty good option against a shield user. Whoa is fantastic. It'll push them away. I believe if you have blocked up, it's probably a great counter against them. Track and table flip are awesome against them. Any one shot gloves are great if you can avoid being hit. Custom and Mega Rock with one shot. Ultra Instinct is a great counter against it. Bus is a fantastic counter if you can land it correctly. Bomb, Bubble, and Jet are great. Just make sure you skill shot with the bomb in the bubble. Bob is fantastic. Orbit can actually be a pretty decent counter because you can get multiple slaps in one second. So you could take them out of their shield before they even get close enough to slap you. Slap will push them back. Won't take them out of their shield though. Rattlebones and Larry are a fantastic combo. Charge, you would have to hit and maybe sell out to destroy their shield and then use charge right back. Don't see it being viable though because they can get their shield back pretty quick. Glitch can be a good counter. Fish can be somewhat decent but it's the same thing as charge as soon as you go to hit them. You can flop back but they might have their shield back already by the time you get back there. But those are my counters for shield. Booster. How do you counter booster? Booster is like a regular glove. It's like everything else. Just it's a passive. Don't get hit by the glove. You can use all one shots against it. You could use your favorite glove against it. Just don't get hit by it. It's nothing really too worrisome. Baller. How do you counter a baller? Lots of people get super annoyed with baller. The best glove you can use to counter a baller is of course error. It will send the error into the shadow realm and you will never see it again. It's a hando. The baller user to the edge. Nothing crazy though. Pusher is an excellent counter against a baller. Just run up to the baller that's throwing everything and just use the pusher and push it off the edge. One of the best counters that I've seen against it. Using Golden's power up ability you can negate being pushed back I believe by a, a rubber ball but again not the most viable. Defense is great if there's just a horde of ballers around the map. The baller balls will not be able to get you while you're inside defense. Reverse one won't save you. I, I don't believe so at all. Track will go after the user. Table flip you can hit the baller with. I don't think it has that much knockback on it though. All one shots will one shot a baller. There's a but here. If you use God's hand time stop ability, ballers can still throw balls. Just be weary about that. If you want to hide, custom and mega rock work. Ultra instinct won't work against that. Acrobat could be useful to try to dodge. Bus could hit a, a baller, which is great. Bomb, you can skill shot it, but I don't think it has enough knockback. Bomb, I believe, goes after the user, which still works. It negates the baller. Rattlebone and Larry will go after the user. Charge is a fantastic option. Fish is just gonna save your life if you get hit, but those are my options to save yourself from a baller. Next thing on this list, how do you save yourself from a god's hand? Extended is fantastic if you want to keep your distance from an, a god's hand. Ghost is a great option. They can't see you coming. You'd always push them off with pusher. Golden's power-up ability will not get hit by a god's hand, so if you have enough time during the ability to hit god's hand, go for it. Reverse is probably the best counter to a god's hand that you can get, because even in time stop, if they go to hit you, you can pop your ability. Shikuchi, you can get a hit off on the god's hand but you're not guaranteed the kill unless you're near an edge whoa is a great counter against them it keeps them from hitting you and pushes them back table flip is great as long as they're not using their ability track is great same thing if they're not using their ability shield if they're not using their ability another god's hand versus god's hand any one shot as long as they're not using god's hand ability mega rock and custom can't get hit great ultra instinct can save you acrobat to run out of there but you're done so if you get the ability called on you bus is great bomb and bubble skill shot jet always works against them. Bob is a fantastic option against them. Orbit, as long as they're not using their ability. Slapple to keep your distance. Rattlebones and Larry is a fantastic is a fantastic option because if they slap you, then they're gonna have a Larry coming after them. Charge could work against them if you get to their backside. Glitch is a good option as long as they're not using their ability. Fish is one of the other great counters against a God's Hand because as soon as they hit you, just flop back in. Those are my great counters for God's Hand. Now to the Flex. Ooh, the Flex is an interesting one. To counter a Flex, extended, keep your distance fantastic use. Swapper, you could swap him off an edge. Not viable though. Ghost, they'll never see you coming. Pusher, you could push him off. I believe with Golden's power ability, you can avoid from being turned into solid gold. I could be wrong. Reverse is a fantastic option. You could turn them into solid gold and give them the Midas touch instead of you. Shikuchi, you get a slap off. You could kill them if they're on the edge. Not viable. Same thing with Woe. You won't get the slap, but you could push them off. Blocked, you could, if you hit them first. Table flip and track are great against it. Shield could also be good against it. Just go in for the slap. Try to get a trade. And as soon as that shield goes down, run away until you get your next shield. That's if you're dealing with a, a flex that is targeting you. Any one shots will counter a flex. You just have to make sure you hit it first or you don't trade. Custom and Mega Rock, of course, will work against that. Ultra Instinct. Boss always works. Bomb and Bubble skill shot. Jet works. Bob works. Orbit could keep you safe. Slapple, you could keep your distance from them. Rattlebones and Larry could work against them as long as you don't get hit. Charge could be great if you try to catch their backside. Glitch could be a good counter. And those are the gloves that I believe are the best counters for flex. The next glove on this list is the air glove, which I can never get a good scene, a good picture of. <laughs> How do you counter an air glove? Well, of course, you could always start with the distance, the extended. Swap them off an edge. Not viable, though. You could always ghost them. That's a great option. You could always push them off the edge. Don't use reverse. You will die. Shikuchi, you can get a slap off and if you're near an edge, you could kill them. Well, if you're near an edge, you could push them off. Blocked, I believe, if you have the first slap, you won't get aired into death. 
I believe so. Engineer, you could set up traps. You're good with the stop time ability. You could stop and then hit them away. Table flip and track are great against it. Shield is great against it. Any one shots will work against an error. God's hand being the best because you can time stop, but just make sure that you try not to trade. Custom and Mega Rock are great against it. Ultra Instinct, you have a 50% chance to dodge it. Bus is fantastic against error. Bomb and Bubble, skill shot. Jet is great against it. Bob is great against it. Orbit can be great against it if you have all your gloves up. Slapple can push them away. Rattle Bones and Larry if you don't get slapped. Charge is fantastic if you can catch the backside glitch can be good against it and those are my counters for error now moving on to the overkill people may ask well how do you counter an overkill it's the most overpowered slap in the game nah not at all extended i love using extended against <laughs> the goober overkill users snow is a fantastic alternative to use against an overkill because if you can slap the overkill first you will thaw them and then they become like a default user without the default ability they are just useless and they're slowed so you can absolutely bully them you could swap them if they're running after you which most overkills are aimed down to try to kill you. You can absolutely ghost a overkill user. You can always push them off with pusher. I believe you're safe when you're using Golden's power-up ability. I believe you're safe, but it's, again, not a viable option. You can always reverse an overkill. This is the second best method in my opinion. Shikuchi, you can get a hit off on them, but it won't kill them unless you're on the edge. Same thing with Will, you won't get the hit, but you can shove them off the edge. Ice is another awesome one. You will thaw them, and you will also turn them into an ice block so that you can bully them. Blocked if you hit them first, not viable. Table flip and track are great against it because you can bully them without having them come near you. God's hand, you can pop your ability and be great with it. All one hand, all one shot gloves against overkill will work, but God's hand will work the best because of the stop time ability. Both custom and mega rock both work because again, overkill will not be able to slap you. You could always bust an overkill. That always works out very well. You could always throw a bomb or a bubble. Jet always works against. This might actually be my favorite thing to use against an overkill is shard because not only do you have the shard ability that will cool down an overkill, even if you slap them with just the glove, it will cool them down. So this might be my favorite thing to use against an overkill. Bob will go after an overkill. Slapple, you can avoid an overkill if you use correctly. Rattle bones with Larry. Charge if you can catch the back of an overkill. Snowball is a fantastic counter to an overkill. Just place it down and the turret will cool down an overkill and make him slow and make you able to bully him. Elude somewhat. Other than that, those are all of my counters for overkill. Alrighty, the next glove on our list is Spectator. You might be thinking, Spectator? What? Why would you go after a Spectator? Maybe you have a goober that has just killed you with something, and now they're in spectator and they're doing nothing but laughing at you. It happens. Well, how can you get rid of this problem? I believe that you can actually use pusher. I could definitely be wrong about this. This is the one glove I have in question is the pusher glove. Other than that, if you use cheeky correctly, you can actually cheeky a spectator off the edge. I think you used to be able to use defense to push him in the ground, but I think they patched that. You can use rocky and you can actually chuck a big old rock at a spectator and get them to fall off the edge because of it. The most common method people use are custom and and Mega Rock to jump on top of the spectator and push them in the ground. It doesn't kill them, but they're stuck, so they're gonna have to reset anyway. So that's the way that they you kill a spectator. I don't think there's any other method that you could actually use to be able to kill a spectator other than the ones that I just said. Moving on to the custom and Mega Rock. I'm gonna combine them together. How do you get rid of a custom and a Mega Rock that is targeting you? The thing about this is this is a defensive glove, and it's the best defensive glove in the game. Because if someone really doesn't want to be slapped, they're not gonna be slapped using these gloves. You can only move them. You can't really kill them while they're in the form. You're going to have to have a little bit more of a finesse to try to slap them if they're toggling. It. But the only thing you can really do to a Mega Rock is use a Swapper and move them out of the position that they are closest to killing you with. Moving on to Ultra Instinct. How do you counter Ultra Instinct? Every glove is basically the same against Ultra Instinct. The only difference with this glove is that you just have to hit a second slap on it. So something where you can get two quick slaps on it would be great. Something like Orbit would be good against Ultra Instinct because you stand the chance of hitting Ultra Instinct multiple times times before they can actually slap you. Anything of that nature. Any one shots would be good, but again, this all relies on a 50% dodge rate, so nothing is absolutely perfect, except using an ability like Pusher that will push them off the edge. Whoa, which will push them off the edge if they're close enough. Locked could be great if you hit first. Track will shoot them with an explosion, which is awesome. Table flip is a, an amazing counter for it. Shield will be great for it. That'll help you out, kind of even the battle a little bit. You can use the glitch effect on them. You can hit them with Larry using rattle bones. You can shove them back with Slapple. And Bob! Bob might be the best counter for this. You could also use Jet. You could also use Bubble and Bomb if you hit the skill shots. And you can't forget about Bus. Bus will one-shot them as well. And those are the counters for the Ultra Instinct Glove. The Acrobat Glove is the same thing as a regular glove, only it has a little bit of a combat role. You can use the things like Snow or Ice
ice or anything like that to slow them down. But then again, this is just something that is like a regular glove with a little bit of a roll. Nothing too crazy. Every glove should be able to counter this in some way, shape, or form. Same thing with Plague. This is a passive. If you get infected, just slap someone else. Not something that you should really need to like look at it as a crazy glove that needs to be countered. Any one-shot glove will use or any glove that like an extended or bus or anything that you could use to slap this thing, you should be fine. Hollow Jack is the same thing as the ones before. You just have to avoid a pumpkin. And this has a pretty long timer to be reset till they can use the next pumpkin. So as soon as you see them use the pumpkin, try to go after them. Just a normal glove if you don't get hit by the, pan uh, the pumpkin. But again, nothing that requires like a crazy in-depth counter guide. Redacted, this is more of a give other people badge kind of glove. This really doesn't need a counter. It just abducts people. It's nothing crazy. You shouldn't have any problems with this and, and being targeted by this. You actually would want this to appear in a game if you have 5k plus slaps and don't have the evaded badge. So nothing with that. Now, bus user, these people get targeted a lot because of bus and <laughs> how everything happens. To counter a bus, this is a normal glove. It just has the ability which makes it targeted. So any one shot gloves, any speedy gloves to catch up to bus, anything would be really good against bus really. Mitten, same thing. This is just a normal glove that has a really cool ability to either drop a really good package or a really bad package. Doesn't need any sort of super counter. Again, with phase, this is one of those gloves that has a really good ability, but it's not like it requires like an incredible counter. Every glove should be able to hit phase, but here are some of the things that I think would be the best kind of a counter to phase. You could obviously use ghost. Stun might be a great option. Magnet can be somewhat of a decent little uh, counter to phase because even if they land the shot on you, you can always magnet right back to them and they will not have their permeable ready. If you have Golden's power up ability, you could definitely use that. Defense works if you're being chased by a permeable, don't want to fight, you just want them away from you. You could always reverse if they go to slap you, you know that they're going to be hovering you. Pop reverse. Shikuchi works, make sure you get the first hit though, make sure you pop your ability before you get slapped. Woe is a great counter if they're hovering you, as soon as you see them come out of the permeable, pop the woe. Blocked is great if you can get the blocked off first. Engineers are great counter. Phantom dash is great if you're good at timing stops, you could uh, stop them when they get close to you. Shield is great. Any one shot gloves basically work. Custom and Mega Rock both are great options. Ultra Instinct with the 50% dodge rate is great. You could even use Acrobat if you have a permeable that's hovering around you in a circle. Slapple's decent to get away. You can hide up in the tree. Rattlebones and Larry is decent, but if they slap you and then use permeable, they won't get the knockback. Charge is actually pretty decent. Fish is a decent little counter. If you do get slapped, you can actually come back and flop right back to them and start hitting them. They won't have their ability. But other than that, that is the counters that I see fit for phase. Warp you really shouldn't need a counter for warp. It's warp. It's just going to teleport. <laughs> if you slap them, they're able to the to ambush you with a, a warp teleport. So nothing wild. doesn't need too many counters. Any one-shot glove does well. Any other glove that you're confident with will do well with them. Bomb. Bomb really doesn't need a counter. It's just a glove that has the ability to chuck a bomb. Any one-shot gloves work. Any glove that's fast is going to be viable against this. But other than that, doesn't need any sort of super counter. It's just a regular glove that has the ability to chuck a bomb out there. Bubble. People have trouble with bubble sometimes. Ghost can handle bubble because... Uh, bubble can't see a ghost coming. Zahando would be pretty good against a bubble. You can always push them off, but you stand the chance of them chucking a bubble at you, so be careful. Dream can be a decent little counter against a bubble. Just make sure you don't make your attack obvious. Reverse is the best option that you have against a bubble user. If they throw a bubble at you, pop reverse, and guess what? Now they're in a bubble. <laughs> you could always pop a Shikuchi and hit them. You could use Woe to send them a little bit farther back. Phantom Dash would be great against them because you can get close to them without them noticing, and they won't be ready to pop a bubble by the time you hit them. Stop is okay, but you stand a good chance of getting bubble. Track and table flip are great options against a bubbler. Any one-shot glove is pretty good against a bubbler if you know how to use it correctly. God's hand being the best in that scenario. Custom and Mega Rock are great. If you have good timing, you could always avoid a bubble. Acrobat could be good. You could just roll out of the way, but you have to have good timing. Bus could one-shot a bubble. If you're good at timing, you could use your permeable with phase and get out of the way. You could always bomb a bubble. You could always bubble a bubble. Those work. You could always jet a bubble. You could always bob a bubbler. You could always use Slapple to get out of the way as soon as you see them popping an ability. You could always use Larry. Fish is interesting. You can definitely counter a bubble if you get stuck in a bubble with fish. I think I've seen it happen a couple times. As long as you're moving the correct way and use flop and you're not too, too far away from the inland, you can flop back on to the main island. So it's very iffy on if you can actually make it with fish. But those are the counters that I see fit for bubble. On to jet. Are you getting targeted by jet? A lot of people don't like being targeted by jet. A funny glove that I've seen before is a uh, swapper. So if you are being targeted by a jet, equip swapper. And then as soon as you see a rocket being launched down, try to swap. Swap. It's funnier if you swap with a person using jet, then they get hit with the massive rocket and usually fly off. But you have to make sure that you're not standing next to somebody because if you do, you both are going no matter what because you're too close. Ghost is interesting because you could still be targeted by the rocket. So you have to make sure you are going very fast for the jet. And once you do get targeted by the jet, they can see where you are. So be careful. Zahando can work against a jet user. You could push them off. Not very viable though. I love using Dream. This might be the best counter against 
against a jet because even if you get targeted and the rocket is coming down, you can actually outrun the rocket with a dream glove. Absolutely fantastic glove to use. I think you avoid all knockback with Golden's power-up ability. You can use Shikuchi and Woe if you get close enough, but not viable. Phantom Dash is a fantastic way to avoid being jetted. Table Flip is great to throw against the jet. Any one-shot gloves if you can get close enough. God's Hand being the best ability pop by stopping time. Custom and Mega Rock are perfect because you can't knock back a rock. <laughs> Acrobat, sort of, but you would really have to be running and use the ability at the perfect time to be able to not get knocked back. Bus, you can one-shot them, but not viable. Phase is perfect if you're being targeted by a jet user because you can use your Permeable and not get knocked back. You always jet a jet, but then you're just into a uh, death pattern. You'd always bob the jet, but you would win against a jet with bob, but you're gonna be fight. It's a death battle between the two of you. Hybrid would be good if you use the speed to get out of there. Rattlebones and Larry will make it very annoying for the jet user. Charge is a fantastic option. Tycoon if you have a built-up tycoon, but not viable. Fish could be decent if you see it coming and you just flop out of the way, but you gotta be fast or you're gonna go very far away. <laughs> but those are my counters to jet. Now on to shard. Spring is a fantastic glove to use against it. Anything where you can get a lot of air time and not be stuck to the ground is a perfect glove to use against shard. You could always use ghost and sneak up on them. You could always handle them. You could always use a pusher, but not viable. Space is another fantastic glove because you can use zero G and go way up in the sky and they'll never see you coming. Dream could be decent. Reaper is actually a pretty good counter to snow gloves because it doesn't get slowed. So even if you get hit by the shard, you can get up and still charge them pretty fast. So it's a decent little glove to use against them. I believe you can reverse a shard. I haven't done it in a long time, but I thought you were able to. You could always rocky them and try to chase them down. Not viable, but more fun than anything. Phantom Dash is great. The track and table flip are great options against a shard spammer because you can always just keep chucking track and you can always keep chucking tables at them to make them stop. I believe shield eats a shard. I could definitely be wrong though. Any one shot will work, but God's hand is the best in this case because it could stop time and run up to a shard user. Custom and mega rock work because you can see the user popping their ability. It has snow that starts to form. Just pop your rock and after it's after the shard has came through, unpop the rock and start to chase them again. Acrobat could be useful. You could use bus against them since they don't really have an evade. Just time it correctly. Using phase and having the permeable ability is perfect. Jet will work wonders against them. Sharding another shard works, but you become a death battle. Bob always works. You can always force them in a direction and chase them down. You could always use the speed and the spring ability with hybrid. You could always use slapple. Rattlebones and Larry work great against the shard user. Charge works fantastic against a, sh a shard user. Having a fully developed tycoon works great against a shard user. Fish works great against a shard user. Not the best option that you can choose, but it will work. But other than that, those are my best picks that I can say will work against a shard. Potato, this is a normal glove. Anything you use against it will be great. The only thing it has is a passive, which is the hot potato. So if you get slapped with it, slap someone else. The best thing you could use against this is a reverse glove or anything with distance. One shots, all of that, but you don't want to get slapped. So reverse is the best counter for potato. If there's a gigantic cult, what do you do? It's tough to say because there's a lot of abilities that'll work like pusher would work, but you have to be able to get that ability. And as soon as you drop in that arena, it's like dropping a bleeding fish into a piranha pool. <laughs> so space with zero G might be useful. Dream might be useful. Defense would be a horror scene because you would pop your defense and then you'd have all of these cult members around you trying to slap you. And by the time it got to a very small cube before you could be able to pop your defense, you would get slapped. So not useful, just more of a horror scene. <laughs> Reverse would work for a little bit, but there would be too many people knowing what is happening that by the time they slapped you and your reverse goes away, you'd be dead. You could use woe for a couple seconds to shove them back, but by the time you get your ability back, you will have already been slapped multiple times. You could use Phantom Dash to get away. I've done that multiple times. If I see a cult, you could use Phantom Dash. This is a great method for not getting slapped. Table flip and track is basically like you're going to take one or two out with you before you go. <laughs> Any of the one-shot gloves will take maybe one or two before you go. Custom and Mega Rocker if you want to waste time. Ultra Instinct is pretty decent against the Colt because you have 50% chance to dodge. Acrobat, you could roll out of way. Nothing crazy. Bus it might be a good option, but the problem is is how long it takes you to get the bus ability. So, not viable. Phase could be very, very good because you can use the permeable and get out of there almost immediately. It takes too long to get jet. Bob, you'd take one out with you before you go. Maybe two. Orbit could work, but if there's a big Colt, you're, you're going to get slapped off before you can get enough hands. Hybrid, you could use the speed in the spring to get out. Slapple, you can use this to avoid the cold. <laughs> Rattlebones to take maybe one or two out before you get thrown off. Chain would be a fantastic love to use against a cult, but you have to make sure you hit them if you get hit. You're most likely going to die, so you have to land all the shots before they get you. Charge would be great to take out maybe one or two before you die. A glitch would <laughs> capture a bunch of them and give you a little opportunity to run, but nothing too crazy. Elude would make sure you don't get hit, but you do stand the chance of dying, so nothing crazy. Fish, you just prolong it. You're just prolonging your death. Why it doesn't have a broad enough range 
to become a safety net. So those are the counters to a massive cult. If it's just a regular cult hand, it is nothing. There is nothing you need to be afraid of if it's just one person using a cult. Bob, you have a Bob chasing you? Oof. <laughs> so with Bob, there's some interesting things that we're gonna have to look at. The best counter to a Bob would probably be Dream because to, in order to kill Bob, you have to run to the cube of death and nothing screams running to the cube of death like using the fastest glove like Dream. Players can easily run away from Bob as it moves at a percentage of the speed of the normal people. You could also use Flash. You could also use Acrobat. You could also use Chigi, but I wouldn't recommend it. You could use Phantom Dash, actually, and get a little bit faster speed. And one of the cooler things is you can actually use Duelist, and Bob cannot be summoned or reach the Duelist Arena, so that's pretty cool. You can use Fish to fling yourself over to the cube faster. A fully developed Tycoon can run, but not viable at all. Charge can run, so that's a little bit better. Hybrid's a good counter because you have the option of speed and jump. Phase is a great counter because you can obviously phase over different lands and over the sky to get over to the cube of death. If you're using Mega Rock, Custom, or Diamond. Diamond, in fact, when Bob reaches the rock, he will disappear. He won't die, he'll just disappear. So that is how you can get rid of Bob if you use Custom, Mega Rock, or Diamond right over here. And those are the best counters for Bob. Moving on to bunnies. How do you counter a buddy? Well, you really shouldn't. If you get slapped by a buddy, you don't have to worry about this person anymore. You don't need to counter it. You could obviously kill it, throw tables at it, whatever you want to do at it, but if you get slapped by the person, who cares? <laughs> you could always equip, like, defense or something and then shove them into the ground so they have to reset, but who who cares? Moon and Jupiter, both of these gloves, you shouldn't need a counter for. They're just, they're, they're goober gloves, okay? They're goober gloves. Spy, you don't need a counter for. This is just a glove that hits very hard if it hits you in the back, and it's just one of the little, kind of a, a fun trolley kind of gloves. Detonator now, a lot of people do not like detonator. <laughs> I don't mind it. If you can get the skill shot of landing me with an explosion, good for you. But there's a lot of counters to detonator. Now keep in mind, this person has detonator, so they know how to slap. They know how to slap. <laughs> so extended could be an option, but be very careful. Ghost is a good option. They can't see you coming unless you've already been slapped. And then if you have been slapped, you have a detonator attached to you. And they will see you wherever you are. So if you're trying to run up to them while you're invisible, it will not work. You could always try to as a hand of them and slap them off, but you stand the chance of getting hit with a uh, detonator. You could always try to push them off. You could always use Golden's power-up ability, not by though. You could always reverse it and get and give them a detonator. That's a good option. Shikuchi to keep yourself from being slapped. Whoa to keep yourself from being slapped. Blocked if you can hit them first. Engineer you can set up obstacles. Not viable though. Phantom to phantom dash away from them. Stop if you're good at the ability of stopping people. Track and table flip can keep the detonator away from you if you land your shots correctly. Shield can be a good option because it'll keep you safe for at least one hit. I don't think that it gives you a detonator on that first hit. I could be wrong though. Any one shots work great against it. God's hand being the best for the ability but you have to make sure you land first or you will get stuck with a detonator. Custom and Mega Rock will keep you safe if that person comes near you. Ultra Instinct, 50% dodge rate. Bus, if you can land it, perfect. Phase will keep you safe if you can time it correctly. If you get exploded, you can probably pop phase and make it back, maybe. Bomb and Bubble, if you're good at the skill shot. Jet, of course, counter it. Bob will counter it. Another detonator will counter it, but you're in a death battle. Orbit's decent, but knowing a detonator, they're probably going to be able to get you. Slap will keep yourself away from them. Hybrid, I guess the same thing. Larry, with Rattle Bones, definitely a good option. Charge is a good counter against them, but you do stand the chance of getting slapped, but charge definitely a great method. Glitch to keep them away from you for sure. Snowball, sort of. Elude to not get slapped, but again, not one of the best gloves to try. Fish is kind of good. If you do get blown up and slapped, you can always flop back inside of the arena. But those are my counters for Detonator. Moving on to Rage. Rage is just one of those gloves that's got a cool little ability to it, but nothing too crazy. All you have to do is just grab a one-shot glove and smack that person into the next realm. Nothing crazy. Use your best gloves again it against it. Maybe I'd recommend using something with speed, but but if you're having issues with the rage, it might be a skill issue. I don't know. <laughs> trap, this is more of a goober glove. You just have to avoid the trap. Sometimes it's even worth getting stuck in a trap so that you can become a small person and try to maybe slap people a little bit better. Nothing problem. No problems with trap. Orbit, a lot of people are having trouble with orbit. Now, orbit is probably the best glove for grinding slaps and getting the most slaps in a period of time because you have orbiting gloves that will give you slaps and sometimes even multiple slaps. A way you can counter orbit if you're being targeted is extended. Slap that person without even getting close to them. You could always flash, but not viable, very hard to hit. You could always spring, but it's, again, pretty difficult to do if they know you're there, especially if you're hopping and they hear the, the boing sound. Ghosts could work, but if they have a fully developed four glove system and they're spinning fast, it's not viable. Stun could work if you stun them and then you were able to get in there and then slap them, but be very careful. Pusher, you could always push them off the map. Space, you could always try to get the top ground on them. Dream, you could try to desync battle them. Golden's power-up ability does very well against it because you won't get slapped. Replica could be great or it could be bad, depending on the desync. Reverse is fantastic. 
fantastic against it. You could always reverse the hits. Shikuchi is fantastic because you can always slap them without having to be slapped. Woe is good for pushing them back. Nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. Blocked if you can get first, but nothing crazy. Rocky, you can Rocky them and hopefully somebody else will come after them, but using your base Rocky Glove, it ain't gonna happen. Phantom Dash, you can get close to them, but landing the shot is gonna be very key and very hard. Track and Table Flip are great. It will hit them and you'll have no consequences really against an orbit. Shield is pretty good, but not fully viable. Any one-shot glove really is interesting. It depends on desync, but God's Hand would be great. The ability of Time Stop, you just have to make sure you jump over the glove pattern. Custom to Mega Rock, if you can get close enough, I guess would be good. Ultra Instinct, 50% dodge rate, great. Acrobat, I don't see working. It could work if you jump properly and roll properly, but just nothing that's 100% guaranteed to work every single time. You could hit them with a Hollow Jack, but they're still gonna have their hands. Bus would one-shot them. Phase, you could get close to them. Bomb and Bubble skill shots would be good. Jet would work. Shard would work. Bob would work. Slapple to keep them away from you. Hybrid, same thing. Rattlebones and Larry would be perfect. Charge would be perfect. You do stand the chance of being slapped, but desync wise, charge would probably win that. Glitch would keep them away from you. Elude, you'd just be safe depending on the teleport. Fish, you could always fly back in, but not like the greatest. Counter. And those are the gloves I think that are, are the best for Orbit. Hybrid, this is just a glove that has a bunch of different abilities. Nothing too crazy, but it is fun to use. You shouldn't have any problems with this glove if you are being targeted by it. Skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. On to Slapple. Sometimes there are users who are just absolute goobers with Slapple who will slap you and go up in a tree, wait for their ability, come down, either try to slap you or go right back into another tree. And they're absolute goobers. Sometimes they'll laugh at you. How do you handle those people? Let me teach you. So you have a goober that's flinging you out of the way. You could use spring and hop up into the tree that they're at, but you do stand the chance of being flung back with the tree spawning in. You could always swap and take their position in the tree and say, I am the captain now and take their tree. You could always be a ghost and sneak up on them. Magnet's great because even if they're in the tree, you can always zoom right up to them. Pusher's fantastic because if they're hiding in a tree, well, guess what? You know where they're going to be and you know exactly where to put your wall. Space, you could surprise them. They're up in a tree, but you're, you're up in the heavens dropping down. <laughs> Reverse won't block being hit by the tree and the not knockback, but it will reverse their slap. Not viable, but will work. Shikuchi's great. You'll get hit by the blast of the tree, but you can always come back and Shikuchi them and get the slap. Woe is one of my favorite counters against a tree user, because if they're hiding up in the tree, you could just run up, jump, and use your woe ability and send them flying back. I've had many people in tree go, whoa, whoa, whoa how did you do that? What? <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> Track is a fantastic option for tree users because the, uh, the glove doesn't care what height you're at. It will come and get you. One shots could kill it, but not viable in this scenario. Custom and Mega Rock <laughs> could actually be a fantastic option. If you sit beneath the tree and you jump up to where the person's at, you can keep them in a, like a death scenario where they can't really get out. Bus is great if you jump or if you get close enough to the person and there's no other people around, a bus will come up and smack them out of the tree. Bomb and bubble skill shot. Jet would really be good against a tree user. Bob would work against a tree user, believe it or not. You could always slapple a slapple, but you're in a death battle. Larry with Rattlebones, perfect. Fish will save you from flying off the edge if they're hunt hunting you down that way. Other than that, that is my counters for slapple. On to the next one, we have ourselves Disarm. Disarm's a really good glove because if you have like a, an overkill user, you can actually disarm an overkill user. Is it viable? Absolutely not. But is it fun to do? Absolutely. This glove, any glove can hit, any glove can go after, be okay with. You shouldn't have any problems with this. Yes, it can be annoying, but targeted, you're fine. If you're still struggling, use an extended, use something that's fast, use something that keeps your distance between these people. They don't have anything extra with them besides the ability to take your glove away from you for a certain amount of time. One shot gloves, perfect. Anything like that, great. But you shouldn't have too many problems with this besides being annoyed if you do get slapped by it. Dominus glove counters. This is pretty easy. You could always ghost them. They don't know you're there. You could always stun them. You could always handle them out of their or arena. You could always magnet to them. You could always push them. You could always bring them reverse into the battle and walk in there and pop reverse and make them slap themselves. You could always shikuchi them out of their arena. You could always push them out with woe. You could always hit them first with block and then target them. Like in my video before, in the Dominus video that I made, I got targeted by an engineer user. Those can actually work. Phantom dash in there and try to slap before you get seen. That could work. Track and table flip are great because you know they're in a set position basically. Shield could work because you have one free slap that you're able to get off on you before you can get another slap on you. Any one shot gloves work pretty well. Best being God's hand in this scenario. Custom and Mega Rock to absolutely troll this user by jumping into the middle of their arena and popping Mega Rock. Ultra Instinct, 50% dodge rate, perfect. Hollow Jack could hit him with a pumpkin pretty easy if they stay in their arena. Bus, you know they're going to be in the arena, so you could use bus against them. Bomb and bubble, it'd be a lot harder to hit the skill shot on them because of how fast they're moving, but it would work. Jet would work great against them because they're going to stay in that little confined circle. They're going to be moving fast, but they're going to stay in that little confined circle and still get hit by the rocket. Bob would be great. Orbit could work pretty well against them. Slapple would push them out. Rattlebones and Larry would be perfect against it. A Dominus user. Charge would be fantastic against them. Glitch would be perfect. Snowball could slow them down, but the odds are low. Fish to fling yourself back, but not really a counter. Those are the gloves that I think are the 
are best against dominance and have the best chance of a counterability. Link is uh, an interesting glove because if you get slapped with it, there's either a 50% chance you're going to insta-die with them resetting, or there's a 50% chance they're going to try to get as many people as possible before they reset. So your best hope is to either reset yourself or go and slap somebody else and get the Link off of you. How do you counter this, you say? You could, of course, use all your gloves to try to keep away from them, like extended, or ghost to try to keep away, stun to keep them away. You could always push them away. You could always outrun them with dream. Reverse is probably the best option that you have here. If they try to link you, they get linked themselves with reverse. They just get a slap. Shikuchi, you can keep yourself from being slapped, but if there's already somebody else with link, they're gonna see an easy target of you and try to slap you. You'd use woe to keep them back. You'd phantom dash away. Table flip and track are great for pushing them away from you and killing them. Shield to get that one slap advantage. Any one shot glove is gonna be dangerous to use because if they land the shot first and then you kill them, you're dead as well. Custom and Mega Rock are perfect for this scenario. Ultra Instinct has the 50% dodge, which is always fantastic. Bust to one shot them. Bomb and Bubble to hit the skill shot. Jet to one shot them. Almost. Bob will one shot them. Orbit to kind of keep them away if you have all the hands with Orbit. Hybrid and Slapple you can evade them with. Rattle Bones using Larry is perfect. Charge, perfect. The glitch effect to keep them away from you. Elude, you won't get the link, but you stand the chance of dying. And those are the gloves I find the best counter to be for link. Moving on to Chain. Oh, the Chain Glove. You could always use Extended. You could always use Ghost, but you do stand the chance of being third partied hit. And that goes with every glove. Stun to keep them away. You could Zahander them to the edge. Push them off the edge. You could always reverse and have them hit. You could always Shikuchi them. You could always woe them back. Track and table flip are great options for these people. Both will target the chain user and make them go like, hey, why are you targeting me? And you'd be like, well, I don't like being hit with residual lightning, so here's my statement. Any one-shot gloves work perfect against a chain user if you can land the shot. God's glove being the best for this scenario. Custom and Mega Rock will keep you from being shocked, and it could possibly kill the person. Ultra Instinct, you will get shocked, but you have the 50% dodge rate. Bus will one-shot them. Bomb and Bubble, skill shot. Jet, good alternative to focus them. Bob is a good focus, a good targeting against them. Rattlebones, Larry ability, perfect. Charge is perfect against them. The glitch ability is perfect against them if you get close enough. Fish is decent to keep yourself alive if you do get hit. But those are the gloves I feel counter chain the best. Now, how do you counter a rattle bones spammer? These people will do nothing but just spam Larry after Larry after Larry after Larry. How do I counter this? It's so annoying. Well, let me teach you. If you're a low level, good thing. You only need 45 slaps and you can cre you can make yourself a diamond. You'll make yourself a whole block and you won't get any knockback effect. Yes, you will have a residual kind of a slowing effect, but at least you have a little bit more of a fighting chance against the user instead of the Larry. You could always use Swapper and swap someone else into the line of sight of Larry, but be warned if it is the user who casted Larry, it will not hit them and it will reverse and go after you still. You could always use Pusher and push Larry away from you. That's a great option itself. You could always pop a defense and try to hide behind a defense with Larry. It's not the best because sometimes it's a little buggy, but defense does work. Phantom Dash will keep you a little bit ahead of Larry with speed. It's not the best option, but could work. Track and table flip aren't direct counters, but it will keep you from being targeted by Larry in his angered state, and you would be able to kill the Larry user. All one-shot gloves will kill a Rattlebones user, but stand the chance of causing an angered Larry. Custom and Mega Rock are the perfect and the absolute best counters to a Rattlebones spammer, because you can get into a rock form, and you will not be targeted, and you don't have any lingering effects like you would with Diamond. Phase is great. Jet, you would be able to hit them, but by the time you would have a Larry after you. Bob, you would be able to, again, have a Bob chasing the Larry user, but you'd be chased by Larry, which the transition Bob wins that, but again, pretty annoying. You could always Larry a larry -er. You could always charge the Larry person, but you're going to have an angry, a very angry Larry. Not the best, but it's okay. Fish is a fantastic counter for Larry because as soon as Larry hits you, just fling yourself back and you'll have your ability before they have their next Larry. And those are all my counters for Rattlebones. Moving on to charge. What are all the counters for charge? You could always pop a diamond. Of course, if you use diamond, you're probably going to have angered them and they're probably going to sit there and camp you until you get out of your diamond. So not the best option, but will work to avoid being bull rushed. <laughs> you could always use Swapper as soon as they're flying at you. Pop the Swapper. It will change your positions, but by the time they realize where they're at, they probably won't have their charge ability left, and it will take them time to understand that they should turn and charge you. But beware, if you do this too much, they will learn and they will adapt, and they, by the time you swap, they will have already turned and have been chasing you in that same charge attack. So keep that in mind with Swapper. You could always ghost them. They won't see you coming. I believe even if you use Stun, if they're in the charge attack, it won't stop the attack. I could be wrong, but I believe so. You would think that the stun would stop them, but I believe I have seen it before where somebody has used stun and it didn't stop the charge user. Magnet's a great counter for charge users because if as soon as you get hit by the charge, you could just magnet right back and hit them. You could always pop a defense as soon as you hear them using your ability, pop defense. You could always use reverse. It's a great counter against a charge user. Shikuchi is a good option against them. Well, we'll send them back. Blocked if you hit them first, great counter. Phantom dash to try to get out of the area. Not the most viable because you can still be hit, but can be okay. Track and table flip will 
fight against the charge not the best not very viable but can do a little work shield is great because it keeps you safe for that first hit but be warned as soon as the charge user sees what you're using they're gonna slap you and then use their ability any of the one shot gloves are interesting it's a desync battle at that point best ability you could use is the god's hand both custom and mega rock are great for this scenario ultra instincts great 50 percent dodge rate bus if they're coming after you wait for them to get a little bit closer and then cast it you're probably gonna die but they might die as well phase is awesome for it bomb and bubble very 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 hard to use against a user that is charging you but could be landed bob is great but they can escape it very easy slap hole's pretty good because you can hide in the tree and they won't really be able to get up to you larry and rattle bounce is pretty good because you could obviously cast a larry if you do get hit they'll have an angry larry coming after them you could always charge another charge user but at that point it's a death battle you could always use glitch and uh force them into the glitch animation before they hit you you could always use elude and evade being hit by the charge user but you stand the chance of being casted onto either my or being casted onto the death cube fish is great because as soon as they hit you flop right back into the arena and you'll have your flop back before they have their charge and those are all the counters that i can think of to be the best against charge tycoon tycoon is like a normal glove to everybody the only problem people have is once it becomes like supercharged and the person has a full tycoon and then they start to become a menace one they're gonna have to try to watch their tycoon as soon as they start hearing the alert system they're gonna run back but if they're in the arena and they have someone else guarding their tycoon how do you handle this how do you protect how do you kill them you could always ghost you could always try to handle them reverse works great against them because they have a lot of power that they don't know they have sometimes and if they go to slap you and you pop reverse whoop there they go shikuchi you can get a slap off of them it goes with whoa you can push them you're not guaranteed to push off the edge though if you somehow manage to get the blocked before you could always slap them and then go destroy their tycoon they could do nothing against it you'd always phantom dash around and try to see if you can get them but not the best viable option table flip and track are great options against a fully developed tycoon you just have to make sure you land the table flip correctly shield gives you a one slap advantage but nothing crazy all one shot gloves are perfect against the tycoon god's hand being the best mega rock and custom are absolutely great for trolling a tycoon and or going to kill them either work ultra instinct 50 percent dodge rate always good in most scenarios bus you can one shot them but when they're fully sped up it's pretty difficult phase you can avoid being hit bomb and bubble very very hard to hit with a skill shot when they're fully developed jet same thing they're speedy hard to hit bob you can definitely force them away to the other side while you destroy their tycoon could work super viable no kind of a medium one you could always <laughs> and one of the more funny methods is if they're being a menace you could always buddy them and when they're buddied run over to their tycoon and blow it up that also works they can't slap you slapple to keep yourself from being hit rattle bones and larry is a an amazing counter because you can always pop a larry and have if you get slapped you they have an angry larry running after them charge is fantastic you can always catch up to them you can always tycoon a tycoon but at that point it's just a death battle you can always throw the tycoon user into a glitch you can always rock a lewd and have the chance to not die fish to flop in and prolong your death and those are my best counters that i could see for tycoon moving on to confusion this is just one of those gloves that has a passive ability any glove should be good against this glove just don't get hit by it it's one of those gloves glitch now i tend to see a lot of people being very annoying with the trojan ability on this and throwing people up in that glitch ability so here are some of the counters that i've seen for glitch that work the best ghost is great because they don't know you're coming zahando sort of works if you can get them off the edge before you get sucked into the glitch ability you could always push them off the edge but it's pretty difficult golden's power up ability keeps you from being teleported into the glitch ability table flip and track are great to push them back any one shots could be decent against a glitch user honorable mentions the mega rock custom and diamond are completely immune to the ability when their abilities are being used so if they're in the rock form they won't be used in the glitch another thing that's pretty cool is the adios can dodge the ability if the gloves ability is activated that's pretty cool the glitch does bypass the reverse gloves like god's hand phase hollow jack pusher and diamond are able to activate their abilities while in the glitch form jet's great you don't have to get close bob is great you don't have to get close rattle bones and larry's great it can cause a very good annoyance charge is okay against the glitch user fish is decent you're gonna get caught in the glitch ability but if they try to slap you you can always fly back and those are my counters for glitch counters for snowball any one shot gloves besides overkill and any speed gloves as long as you're running around in a circle and not getting hit by the snowball you'll be fine the best counter could possibly be either reverse or reaper but this glove shouldn't be too much of an issue now elude's interesting because a lot of people don't think you can hurt an elude but you can starting off with pusher you can push an elude user off the map if done correctly you can also cheeky a user off the map one of the funny things is if you use replica a replica will actually hit an elude and actually slap them which is hilarious to see another cool thing kill streak from levels 100 and 250 so basically i think 100 and up will be able to slap an elude you could of course use reverse and have the elude slap you can't slap the elude though shikuchi's ability will actually allow you to slap an elude user the woe ability you can push them back can't slap them but you can push them back the engineer the glove that spawns the little sentries can actually
actually slap an elude user. Track, table flip, and baller all can actually hit an elude user. Mega Rock and Custom both can counter an elude user because they can't be slapped and the elude, user, the elude user can die to it. Bus can definitely nail an elude user. The Bomb and Bubble Gloves will both absolutely get an elude user. Jet will send a, an elude user flying. Shard will hit an elude user. Bob will go after an elude user. You can trap an elude with trap, which is hilarious. If you have the spinning hands around you with orbit, the spinning hands can hit an elude, not your slap itself. Slapple ability will shove an elude user back but you can't slap them i think the residual lightning on chain might hit them not a viable option though rattle bones and larry can definitely go after an elude which is great glitch's ability will grab the user it's not really a good counter but it can grab them and fish will save you from an elude user if they're bullying you but those are my counters to elude rng you don't need a counter for rng this is just a regular glove that has the ability to have pretty decent power and the ability to randomly fling you in a direction if you're really struggling with it use something with distance like an extended use reverse or use defense to keep yourself away use a faster glove like dream to keep yourself away any of the one shot gloves will one shot this this you should have no problem with rng this is more of a goober glove fish is a fantastic glove to use how do you counter it you could use a pusher but it's a very low viable option because they can get around it they would have to be really 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 close to an edge and not have an out even if they fling. So it could work, but not nothing too crazy there. You could always reverse a hit from a fish, but not viable on killing them. You could always shikuchi a fish, but not viable on killing them. You could always woe them, not viable on killing them though. You could always track and table flip a, a fish, but again, not viable on killing them. The flex is a fantastic option to kill a fish user. God's hand is decent, but again, the fish user will survive a god's hand if used correctly, which most of the time they are. Air is a fantastic option to kill fish. Overkill is a fantastic option to kill fish. Custom and mega rock are great options to kill fish. Bus will one shot a fish. So Sometimes, most of the time, they'll have their ability ready to use. So low end of viability. Bomb and jet, no. Bubble, really no. Bob is a kind of a good way to kill fish, but most of the time they'll be able to reach the cube of death. Disalarm can actually work against the fish because I believe it takes their way, it takes the ability away from them. So disarm, disarm could be a very good counter to using fish. Link can be a great counter to using fish. All you have to do is just slap them and then reset, and they die with you. Glitch can be annoying against the fish. Fish battles, it's just a death battle at that point. And other than that, that is the best counter. I could see for fish. The best counters from a Y are something with distance, like extended, something that you could throw like table flip or track. Any one shot gloves would be interesting. You would have to try to get close enough if they're hovering Mawai, but definitely kill them. Mega Rock Custom Rock would be great. Other than that, this glove could be targeted by basically anything bomb, jet, shard, all of it. Same thing goes for Obby. This is more of a goober glove to have fun with. You shouldn't have any issues with Obby. You shouldn't have any issues with Goofy, and you really shouldn't have any issues with Voodoo. They really don't need any counters. Another glove you shouldn't have issues with with his spin it's up here if you have issues with spin you i'm sorry it's it's a massive skill issue <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode. I have officially talked for over four hours straight, and my voice hurts. It hurts. I can't believe I've, I've done this. <laughs> I thought about doing all of this in, like, multiple different videos, but I figured, why why would you want to click on multiple different videos? Of course, you're going to see the time length on this, and I know that's probably going to hurt my views, but if you could see it all in one video, why not, right? Just make it easy on everybody. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, let me know if I forgot a counter to a glove. Put it down in the description. Or not in the description. Put it, Post it down in the comments below. There will be people that are going to be posting all different types of things like, oh, I can easily counter this glove with this glove. I like to see different people's inputs on that. So let me know. Other than that, I hope every single one of you have a fantastic rest of your day or night whenever you're watching this. And I shall see you in the next one. Later.